got to get something I'm pretty excited about. Looking for uh, one of these. I'm really, really excited. I'm excited for what I'm going to do with this patch. Today marks a pretty big day I'm excited to share it with you. As you all know, I have done quite a bit of riding around the country and I've just got a passion for innovating and creating. You know, we made these magnetic sunglasses. They're like perfect for the house because you can just leave them stuck to your fridge. Now you don't have to worry about, you know, your dogs chewing on them or uh, the kids playing with them or losing them. You just know where they are at every day. More important than that, I also use it on my gas tank. Whenever I'm taking my helmet on and off, I fold them up, I stick them on my gas tank and they're not falling on my exhaust melting or anything like that. They're pretty convenient for, for motorcyclists and everyone else for that matter. I've also come up with a pretty rad seat, which I'm gonna be riding in today's video because we are going on a Toys for Tots run. That's right, if you don't know what Toys for Tots is, Google it, it's a huge operation raising toys for kids and the motorcycle community is huge behind it. But before we go, I wanna share with y'all another little innovative project I have been working on. Tirelessly, this has been like a year project and today I am going to go out and put it to the test along with all y'all and get some of your feedback on what I should or shouldn't do before I bring this product to the market. A lot of you have asked for it. We now have it. It is my signature vest. That's right. This is a design that I came up with that I really like. There's some really unique things about this that you will not find in any other vest on the market. Number one You'll see this kind of yellow color inside. Now I haven't decided if I'm going to put a liner in that to cover it or if the yellow could be like a signature. Like when you see it, you know it's one of these very special vests. But it's got the pockets up front, it's got zip pockets on the side, zippers and buttons on the front, the button down collar so it's not flapping you in the chin. Double stitched, reinforced, I mean quality, quality made all the way through and some of you may already know what this yellow is. This is no ordinary vest, this material is denim and Kevlar woven together. That's right, it's a Kevlar vest, uh, added abrasion resistance, added cut resistance, great in the event of a fall, but it's still denim. So it's woven real tight with denim. It's pretty rad. I'm excited about it. There's some pros and some cons. I'd like to go over them with y'all real quick before we go on this run and get your feedback. Pros, obviously the protection. Also, the fact that uh, Kevlar withstands heat, and elements better so it'll help keep you cooler when that sun's beating down on you and warmer when you're in the cold. You know, keeping that chest, that core warm is one of the number one things I recommend <laughs> riding in cold weather. The bad parts about it, it's a little bit stiff. I've washed this one twice now and it's broken in pretty nicely. I think one more wash would make it about perfect. Another downside is they're just really expensive to make. Kevlar's not cheap. I could have gone with an off brand but I thought it was important to stick with actual Kevlar and be licensed by Kevlar in this product, and you know which we will be. So it's a little bit more expensive, and it's more expensive to make. The machinery they use to make these are, uh, it's just a tougher, it's a tougher material to sew. So altogether, this vest will cost you two to three times more than a standard vest. Now my question is this, I don't have the funds to produce you know, regular denim and the Kevlar weave. So my question to you is, should I produce this, it's a tough decision, in the Kevlar woven denim, or should I just go with a nice heavy regular denim or wax denim like the vests I've been wearing in the past? I don't know the exact pricing, but I will say it is about three times the normal cost. Is that a value to y'all, or is it not worth it? You'd rather have the in more inexpensive and just a cool design. Y'all let me know. But, I'm wearing this vest on the ride today, gonna break it in with its first official ride. And I figured there's no way, no way, I can ride this without a patch on it. So I've got the uh, Stubborn America patch. And the nice thing about these patches is they're all iron-on ready. Now the bad thing with iron-on patches is with enough wear and tear, sometimes you know you can get a corner to start to lift and want to peel up on you. But the good part is you can get it on right away and rock the patch until you make it to a rally or something like that where you know someone can sew it for you.
just like that, buddy. We've got our first patch on my new Vesta product. I'm excited to put to the market, y'all. I can't wait to get your feedback on it. Let's see how it looks real quick. <sighs> yeah, buddy. That, my friends, I think is a good looking vest. Is it crooked? Did I do it crooked? Well, maybe I should take a little more time, huh? <laughs> I'm rushing today, though, because we got an important ride ahead of us, and it is the Toys for Tots. Do it in my new vest. I'm excited. How many of you out there are going to support me in this vest? Let me know down there below so I kind of get an idea of how many of these I should be making. And again, let me know. Make it the Kevlar denim weave like it is. I need your feedback. I need your help. This is why I love having this, uh, this resource here of YouTube and, and Facebook because I get to, uh, I get to ask y'all and y'all can give me feedback. Stubborn American, baby. Maybe a little crooked, but we're going to ride the shit out of it anyhow. Oh, we are about to ride. Look who's with me. The lovely Miss Ashley, my boy Scott's down there waiting on me. I think we're going to meet the rest of the crew at the uh, gas station. But first we're going to try to pair up our setters so that we can talk a little while running down this road. Do I have you? Yes. Yeah. Victory is ours. Now you get to hear me all day. All day oh. I'm going to be in here. Oh, lucky me. Thank you so much, Senna. up a couple new bikers. They've been staying at the camp with us down from the north. The great cold north. Riding with us today. It's going to be a small toy run it looks like, but nonetheless an important one, right? Taking care of our kids, taking care of our communities. That's what the biker uh, life is all about. We got some toys, baby? Mm -hmm. uh, what got you got? We brought one for you too, Scott. Awesome. And we got your saddlebag. You can take the side by side since, you, you know, go. we know you love them. Yeah, yeah. I think I can. I got one in here too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He actually does do other motorsports. Your bikes are absolutely beautiful, by the way. A 131 over here. Woo. Look at that. So perfect. And then you got the old uh, the Trask set up. Yes, sir. Word up. Fuel economy. Yeah, fuel economy. Let's go turn these in, baby. Yeah, you got the old biscuit, huh? Gotta eat something. <laughs> Let's explain to everybody how a poker run works for those that maybe don't know. So the way it works is this. You usually pick a few stops. You go at your own pace to each stop, usually within your select groups. Um, and then here we're gonna do Pearls, K River, Pine Knot, Buttercups, and the Red Star, which is where we're at right now. At each stop you get a card. At the end it creates a five card hand and it's a poker hand and then of course there's usually prizes for the winning hand and then uh, also prizes for the losing hand the worst hand <laughs> it's a lot of fun it's a good way to raise money for charity today we brought in some toys and donated them some dollars maybe $50 a piece yeah. Yeah. Toys yeah. For, for toys for tops it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun it's a beautiful area to ride too so. and they're going by the Key River I didn't even know that until like the last minute really? I wasn't even made aware <laughs> what are you gonna do? What card are you gonna get? Uh oh gosh. Well, I'm under pressure right now. I'm Tell gonna me. get an ace. You're getting an ace? Yeah. She says she's getting an ace. See how true that is. Uh, That's pretty close to an ace. <laughs> it's, only, it's only one card off. I'll take this guy. Get Daryl, I was gonna take that one, Daryl. Oh, oh well. Look good. who made it. Daryl yeah. showed up. Yeah. I got the king of diamonds, baby. Oh, you got the ace. Yeah, I did. Good thing 
about poker runs is you don't have to do them in order. And Ashley, she's got to go. Where you got to go? I got to go. I got an obligation that I'm 30 minutes late for. So, <laughs> unfortunately, I can't finish the poker run. She's not going to finish the poker run today, but she will catch you all uh, on the next video, I'm sure, baby. You're going to miss everyone. Yeah. Bye. I'm going to go ahead and finish the run. Ashley's going to take off. Let's go get our Cave River card. See what card we get at the car river. Lay them out there. All right, you go first. All right. She got the ace of diamonds. Ace of diamonds and the queen of clubs. And the queen of clubs. You're next. You got what? Three, Three of, of clubs. clubs. Ooh, oh, jack, jack of clubs. Of clubs. Working Ooh. that flush. Seven of clubs. That don't help me none. <laughs> My friends, the law tigers. And this is K River, and I got the seven of clubs. On to the next stop. So apparently they uh, had me draw my next two stops here because they wanted us to do them in order. Although when we asked, they said it was no problem. I've never been at one where you had to be in order before, but apparently this one we were, so I had to draw my Lulu Pearls and my Pine Knot here. 775 King. It ain't looking too good for your boy, Adam. <laughs> All right, man, what do you got? All right, we're sitting with a Jack of Hearts, Jack of Clubs, four of Diamonds, three of Clubs. Not so good. Oh, man. But I, got nothing. I don't know anything about I don't poker. think our team's taking anything back. <laughs> oh. Oh. Time to layer up. Head on back to the campground. I don't know if I should keep this material or a different material. The hardest part was getting the right design, stitch line, cut, so it fit, fit right when you're on the bike. It doesn't bunch up on you. We're making sure you got enough stitching. We'll see about the material. Curious to hear y'all's thoughts. Let me know down in the comments below. It does actually keep you pretty warm. Not bad. It's a beautiful day for a ride. I had so much fun. Listen, y'all, uh, all I 